Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for smart software walkthroughs and tech tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Zoho POS. Zoho's point-of-sale solution designed to simplify sales, inventory, and customer management all in one smart, cloud-based platform. Whether you're running a retail store, a cafe, or a pop-up shop, Zoho POS helps you manage transactions efficiently and deliver seamless checkout experiences. And do not forget that this video is part of our Zoho series tutorials. So if you are exploring the Zoho ecosystem, make sure to check out our other videos in the playlist. So let's begin. Okay, so the very first and most important step is to head over to the Zoho's official website, which is zoho.com. And of course, to create your account. Before you can access any of the apps, especially Zoho, POS, you'll need to sign up. Don't worry, the process is very quick. Just click the sign up button. It's a very straightforward because you just have to provide all the information needed. And to make the account creation faster and easier, you can sign up using your Google account, LinkedIn, or Microsoft account. And then, just go to your account and click the access your apps since you have successfully created your zoho account here if you can't find the zoho pos all you have to do is hover down below where it says i'm looking for it there's going to be a search button here and then type in pos right or point of sale And then what will happen is you can start your 15 day free trial by clicking the access app template. This will forward you to the point of sale or pause dashboard. Just wait for it. And as you may notice, let's just click the continue button. It's setting up the application. You want to make sure at this point you are connected to a stable internet connection. And if you are having issues accessing the Zoho apps for some reason, you might want to use a VPN because that could interfere with the loading times. Just wait for it, since it's doing its magic and of course customizing the dashboard depending on your preferences and your needs. And once you're here, there's gonna be like um, an option to provide store names. So in this case, we're only gonna be using how to use Zoho point of sale or uh, let's say pause, point of pause, all right? And then from here, you can put in the address, click the submit button. All right, we're going to skip that for now. And from here, as you may notice, the dashboard is very user friendly. It's clean and we have been using this for quite some time. And let me tell you from our experience, it's very easy to use. I'm going to show you why. Now, basically, the admin dashboard serves as the control center of Zoho Pass. From here, administrators can monitor overall store performance, including sales analytics employee performance, store-wide summaries, and inventory status. This is where you can configure core settings like uh, most sold products, manage users, and access higher-level insights for business decisions. Since this is a newly created account, we don't have yet anything in place. This is going to be for the uh, web view. This is going to be for um, the uh, mobile view for your desktop, and of course, your tablet view. Okay? Now, the stock section is where you can track and manage your inventory in real time. You can add your stock here if you want, especially if your product listing is kind of low right now. Barcode number is, for example, that. Put in the uh, price for that. Let's say in this instance, product is, if you don't have any product, let's add a new product here. Zoho Pass. Okay, so weight volume is going to be like, we're just putting up random numbers. Category is new category, for example, um, this vendor, if you want to add a new vendor. All right. Click the submit button. All right, so after doing that, once you've made your um, lev um, inventory here, you can stock transfers between locations, ensuring you always know what's available and when to order. You can have the current stock here, out of stock products, and all the products right here. You have all these under your control. And then the billing section is where the actual transactions take place. From here, 
you can add a new invoice if you want invoice date is on july 30th customer if you want to add a new customer you can do that add a new item you can scan barcodes for a quicker checkout apply taxes and of course select the payment modes like cash card upi and a lot more this is going to be the front end interface used by cashiers or even sales associates and of course click the submit button you also have the ability to click the uh, invoices if you want to add a record you can do that okay and then the customer section allows you to manage customer data and improve personalizations if you want to add a new customer you can do so right here creating and editing customer profiles tracking purchase history and of course adding loyalty points you can send receipts or promotions via e email and sms this helps in building a strong customer database for future marketing and of course you have the discount you can add a discount and manage pricing strategies for example the uh, date is going to be like july 30th and until uh, july maybe august maybe august one and then discount type is it's up to you product is you can do that per, uh discount is for example 69 percent click of the submit button you need to select the product all right so that you can apply discounts on individual items or entire bills you can set time-based promotional offers and of course you can assign discounts on customer groups this ensures flexibility in pricing and helps drive sales during campaigns the product-wise discounts is something that if you wanted to have a customized discount you can do that here all right we're going to go back to the main uh, point of sale because after setting all the all uh, it up you can edit this application if you do you'll have more control about your pos dashboard and its uh, settings you can configure a lot here it takes a little while but once you are in the admin dashboard you would notice that you have more control over the uh, design right here that's going to be the admin dashboard you can put in the stocks add the stocks all products and you can also have the uh, view for the workflow and of course with that you can add cashier add customers add discounts add invoice that's form workflows all right and for schedules you can basically uh, immerse yourself and create a new workflow right here choose from let's say i'm at the cashier or categories and name the workflow and create the workflow right here okay and then once i've done that you would be able to create a custom workflow to automate any repetitive task here in um, zoho point of sale click the done button and there you have it okay that's basically how you use point of sale of zoho you also have the ability to click the access the application itself you will be forwarded here and that's that and if you feel that Zoho point of sale is going to be the platform that answers your business needs, just click the upgrade button so that you will know that the pricing plans are here for you. You can select from standard at $8, professional at $20, and of course the enterprise at $25. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching our walkthrough on how to use Zoho POS. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next video in our Zoho series tutorials. Zoho POS offers a clean, intuitive interface and robust functionality perfect for retail stores, pop-ups, and growing businesses. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.